one. So I feel like I've not had a chance to jump on and do a dedicated video utilizing the Mood Truck Addiction Shadow Palette number two for an eye makeup look. So I thought I would do that today. I went ahead and I primed my eyes with my mineral eye primer. So that's already been put on and been setting in place for a couple of minutes now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in to my palette. First of all, let me show you these fabulous colors. And I'll also so show you a picture so you can see that as well. This is such a great palette for the winter, I feel like, especially around the holidays when you're wanting to do more of like a darker eye makeup look. So what I'm gonna do, I always just really like to start out with a neutral base for my eyelids. I know I put on primer, but I love using my Sculpting Trio in medium and using my highlighter powder. You can see I've been using the heck out of this as an all over base for my eyelids. So I'm gonna just do that real quick. Okay, so now that I have that on, let's get into this palette. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna want a transition color. So I think I'm gonna just start with, this is such a tough decision. I think I'm gonna use Honorable and I'm gonna put that on my blending brush, just on the end of my blending brush. This is like a really nice matte gray. Tap off the excess and just go into my crease there. I'm gonna actually use the mirror that's part of my palette so I can really see. And it's great to use just a really, oh wow, this is going on so beautifully. It's just nice to use a, a lighter shade to really build that color on. Like look how nice that looks. I always say, depending on what products you use for your transition shade, I mean, sometimes that may be all you need, especially with this blending brush. You can just work that product into your crease, windshield wiper motions, all the way in, all the way out, and you just get this really nice definition to your eyes. Now, obviously, if you wanna take things up a notch, you're gonna build upon that color. So what I'm gonna do next, now that I kinda of have that product worked in, and you can, I mean, you could sit here, you could blend all day long. Like, you could just blend, 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 blend. You really could. <laughs> but we're not gonna do that, we're gonna keep going. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my crease brush and I'm gonna go into a darker color. I think I'm gonna go into Cocky. That's like this charcoal gray color. And you can see I'm sticking with the matte color of this palette. And I'm just gonna take that color and take it in the outer corner and up along my brow bone, just a little bit higher than my crease. And I'm bringing that to where the center of my eye is, working that product in. And again, I'm not worried about it being perfect because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna blend it out. So let's take our blending brush and again, just work that product into that crease to get rid of those harsh lines. I just, I love this blending brush. It is a game changer for me, for sure. I was so excited when Unique came out with that. Like, just look how nice that is. I'm gonna go in with the dark color here, Peppy, and I'm gonna, again, take my crease brush, and I'm gonna just tap off the excess and focus that product in the very outer corner of my eye. Just to really kind of do this nice, build of this like, just gorgeous smoky eye. I don't want to call it a gray smoky eye because that's like definitely darker. Okay. And again, just kind of blend that out. And if you wanted to, you could just keep going darker and darker with that. But I, I just, I like dramatic. I just, I'm not crazy about like super over the top. I think if I was going to like a concert or a fancy dinner or something, then yeah, maybe do a little bit more. All right, 
Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with Blissful. Look at that shimmer, you all. And I'm gonna put that on the center of my eyelid. Like this to me looks like snowflakes. Like if snowflakes were like shimmery, look at that. I really like that. Okay, and again, I always just go in and do like a little bit of dusting just because I don't ever want there to be harsh lines. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my liner shader brush and I'm gonna go in with Romantic. I'm gonna put that along my brow bone here. Look at that highlight. That's a really pretty color too. Wow, this whole palette is just gorgeous. And then I'm gonna just stamp a little bit into the inner corner to really help brighten up that eye. Then once I have that on, I may just like blend a little bit but now that I have that on, I'm gonna go back in and just kind of start from the beginning. So I'm gonna take honorable and I'm gonna take that down along my entire lower lash line, both sides with my crease brush, trying to keep it like along my waterline ish. This I feel like just really, and then I'm gonna go in with cocky and I'm gonna take it to the middle I feel like when you smoke your eye look out, it just really finishes it off. It makes it look so nice. And then I'm gonna take Peppy and I'm just gonna stick that right in the outer corner because that's that real dark color. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my liner side of my liner shader brush. I'm gonna go in with that Romantic and I'm just gonna get that right in the inner corner of my eye there. So there you have it. I might have a little bit of fallout just because I was going quick. And I'm just gonna take, normally I don't do my foundation first, but I went ahead and did it. So there you have it. If you have any questions about this like really simple, fabulous, smoky eye look from the Moodstruck Addiction Shadow Palette number two. Please don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.